Hey, what's up guys? Back to the workshop here for a little bit. And today we're going to be crafting the leather for this beautiful knife that I'm making for Troy Bullock with 13 Prevail on YouTube. This is a knife that I'm building for him. I've been showing you guys a little bit. Check out my la the last episode there if you want to see that. But we're doing the leather. I actually already got started on the leather. Drew up from one of my templates that'll work for this before all you guys mentioned that you'd really like to see the leather. So I'll take you, I'll bring you up to speed on what I've done so far, and then we'll go through the rest of the project. So to give you guys a better look, here is a knife that is now titled the Prevail. No edge on it yet, that's why I'm handling it kind of roughly. But we have a OD green uh, canvas micarta scales with black paper micarta phenolic pins brass, white liners, 316 stock. This is a lot of knife. It's heavy, no doubt about that, but it's a beautiful piece. But we need some good leather to wrap it in. So I drew this up some time ago for another blade, and I always, I remind you guys many times, template your work. If you draw something up, you take the time to draw it up, make sure you trace it off, and maybe you can use the template again in the future. That comes in over and over with knife making. So this is a general shape. Just to give you guys an idea, I'm not going to show you right now how to go about making a template, but maybe I will in the future. If you guys comment down below if that's something you'd like to see, if you'd like to see me uh, draw up a template. So I trace that out and cut that out of, uh, I like to use six to seven ounce leather. That's what I like. Uh, a lot of people use seven to nine. I don't like it. It's too heavy. It's clumsy. It's thick. You don't get the clean lines the same, but six to seven ounce leather. You can see if I go roughly down where it'll sit, that's about the amount of material I have, the amount of knife sticking out. After I've traced that out, what I do is I punch my holes so I can rivet this, because once that is assembled, you're not going to be able to get those rivets down inside thereafter. I also scoop these out. Let's see if I can show you that. So I scoop that out so a rivet will sit beneath the leather surface so your knife doesn't, your knife handle doesn't scrape on the rivet. We'll put the domed head, of course, of the rivet outside. I also scallop this middle section here so the sheath naturally folds together. If you don't do that, it's really hard to crease the leather and you'll have a, a big dome on the back of your sheath instead of a nice clean fold like that. Of course you'll need to cut out a good welt as well. Some people will just glue and stitch their sheaths like this. Especially axe sheaths, I see it a lot. But what do you think is going to happen as soon as your edge goes into that stitching? It's just going to snip your sheath apart. So that's going to get glued in there. Now if you're going to dye your sheath, now is the time to dye the inside. Once you glue that over, and once you hammer over here, it's really difficult to dye unless of course you're dip dyeing. Most people don't, but uh, some guys do. I'm going to do an oiled finish on this sheath. It's, uh, Troy didn't specify, he didn't say anything. He's kind of leaving all the creative part up to me. I've been really enjoying the oil dyed finish lately. Super classic, really pretty. You get to appreciate the grain and the leather a little more. And it gives us a little bit of freedom later on, as we'll see. So I'm going to choose, I think, some brass rivets here. I have a couple of these like dollar store divider trays where I uh, I just cut off the covers. And I use a single cap post rivet. So you can see one side looks like this. The other side is the pretty side, the polished cap. So these rivets will push out through once you've got everything lined up of course. Make sure you do a good job of this. Double rivet. Just like that. Your caps will clip on. I use good rivets. Use good quality snaps. When I started out, I used like uh, cheaper quality Amazon ones. You could get really cheap. And it's just not worth it. The amount of time you spend fiddling with them and then you're having some pull apart and pull off because the, the metals. Uh, cheap quality, it's just poor quality metal. Uh, it's better to pay a little more for a good 
good quality rip it, especially when it's your work you're sending out to a customer. You don't want the first time they strap up their knife, run their belt through here, they pop off a rivet. That would be, uh, that would be really unfortunate. So what I will do now, I'll use a piece of, this is I believe granite block, and we'll tap these rivets down. What happens is that post will malform up inside. It'll mushroom out inside the head of these rivets and it'll create a permanent seal there. So you can see this one over here now is fully secure. I will inset the backs just a little more. And even though it's real good quality metal, it is still fairly pliable, so you can kind of uh, mash it around, do what you need to. But we have tight, tightly pinched rivets here. You see those backs are set in beneath the leather surface, so that will never create an issue there. Now that that glue is set up, I removed the clamps, we're almost at the point of stitching. In which case we have to put a stitch groove first and mark our, mark our stitch points in the groove. Before you do that though, I always finish this edge. I won't like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I won't burnish it or create that final finish, but it needs to be the hard final edge where everything's going to sit. So you know that that line is going to be perfect with your edge, the groove you put in. So I'm going to take this to the belt sander there now. You can do this by hand, you can cut it with a box cutter and, and hand sand it or whatever you like. I use a belt sander to clean up this edge because you always end up, let's see if I can show you here. So you have three layers, you see it's not perfectly consistent. See right here you have a little bit of overhang, that type of thing. So have a look at how it is. And here's the edge now. See everything's perfectly even, flush, sand it up to a nice high grit, clean around these edges, chamfered them. back from a little quad ride with my little one now guys and I am running a basic saddle stitch here on this prevail sheath black stitching nice nice and clean we'll put a rivet in there to match as well we've got something special coming up for this sheath in just a few minutes when this is done so do you have any bandits? Well, you don't need a band-aid for that. But it's super bleeding. No, it's not super bleeding. No, the one before, right there. Yeah, push it through. Okay. Now pull on it. Pull it all the way through. Keep pulling. Nice. Okay, now poke it through that hole. This one over right here. And pull it through. Uh, were you teaching me? Yes. Why were you teaching me? Because it's good for you to learn. So you can take over the family business.
Well that's it guys, that Prevail model number one, the prototype, is done. Troy, I hope you like it buddy. Uh, I've already had a few orders come in for this exact knife, so I'm excited about that, that you guys are, are liking what I've designed here. Of course, this is prototype, model number one. So, Troy will use it, I'm sure. I really hope you enjoy it buddy. But, uh, I'd love to hear some feedback. Um, the design, I believe it's a pretty foolproof design. It isn't anything super weird or wonky or, or out of the norm. So I don't think there will be any big issues, big design flaws. I think it will be a tried and true pattern. But I welcome feedback. If you're looking at picking up one for yourself to get in on the early, early models, email me. Email down the screen there now and uh, we'll do something up. Of course that laser engraving uh, that is something I offer for a very small fee if someone wants a personalized design or, or their name or, or something special I can do do something like that for you so thank you guys for watching hit that like button subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and again hit me up if you if you're interested in ordering a knife for me thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next video